Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2, the United States of America. And we just got finished with a war with Mexico where we took off part of their stuff. Obviously, this is going to be a bit of trouble for us in the future if we don't, you know, keep a hold of it, things like that. And it does, uh, I guess it expands our border with Mexico. A little bit to the point that it's it's hard to well if they weren't so fucking weak it would be hard to defend against them but that's not really that big of a deal so research wise I think I didn't really get any suggestions as far as that goes as far as I can remember I'm doing this early in the morning before that I'm gonna upload it so maybe some people are going to um, make suggestions but uh, we'll just have to see in 1853 I think we could fit in a couple of texts before we've got to get empiricism uh, this is probably good for us breach loaded rifles unlocks guards I think I'll do that that way I could start replacing my troops with better troops and budget um, I, I don't know what the deal is with the budget, we'll have to wait how is Spain doing? Spain is still allied with France um, how are we as far as sphering is concerned? We've got Brazil, the USCA, and we just started working on Argentina Tina. I'd like to get Colombia on my side instead of Mexico's side. Um, and then eventually I'll probably either puppet or sphere Mexico once I have taken enough of their stuff. Um... Searing them is probably going to be the the best idea uh, to prevent the United Kingdom from from searing them. But I want to take a couple more states off of them before that time. And we got five years of time there, so um, let's see, West Virginia. Okay, both of these, both the Whigs and the Free Soul parties are bad at the moment. We don't want limit. We want limited citizenship. After the Civil War, the parties will change a little bit. Not that the Civil War is going to be that big of a deal. We still have some time to do that. Um, the Civil War is not going to be all that interesting, considering uh, the. I suppose implications of that. Um, interventionism. Oh, it's telling me to get state capitalism. I don't want that. So with Haiti, if I were to justify a war, I'd have to do conquest. Which is 22 into me. Definitely can't afford that right now. Uh, but I'll have plenty of time to get that. Nobody is working with them spearing wise. Uh, but I think uh, the conquest of the independent states uh, in the in the Caribbean is a good idea, especially once we can. Uh, I wasn't trying to cause something to flip their course to me. I was trying to get them so that I could flip Cuba out so I could take out Cuba. Not so that I can... Because um, I know that, that you can't get... Great powers can't get um, cores given to them through crises. It's that I wanted to get them independent. Uh, I suppose there's not any reason to Uncle Tong's cabin to build these troops 
considering I'm going to have new troops in a little bit. I don't plan on going to war. Um, here, Breacher Stowe's novel, 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 Uncle Tom's Cabin, first published in 1852, uh, is one of the most widely read anti-slavery novels ever written. So large was its perceived impact on the nation's the growing national consciousness over the issue of slavery that Abraham Lincoln, upon meeting Stove at the start of the Civil War, is put to as having greeted her, so this is the little lady who made this big war. The publication of Uncle Tom's Cabin has increased national consciousness over the slavery issue. So all pops in the USA become uh, 10% more in favor of outlawing slavery and gain to consciousness. Oh look, everyone's wants moralism. Well, like atheism is an issue at all. This could be us gaining some opinion with this place. Looks like the United Kingdom is working on it too, but I think they're giving way to our hegemony here because they've stopped influencing people when we started putting points into them. Still have Venezuela, but once we start putting points into there, they won't really have a choice, especially if we keep putting points into our... Uh, what's it called? The thing that gives us... Get out of my way! Economic policy interventionism. Um... The thing. Commerce. This. I want to put points into that. That's probably the next tech I'll get. Oh, I've got nine Diplo points. Well, that's good. Get our relations back with France. And Jeff's pretty good. Uh, actually, if I get a if I get a an alliance with the NGF, that would make things much easier with Spain. I, I highly doubt. That they will consider that sort of thing. Are we ally with them? Too many great power. Okay, so United Kingdom is allied with who? Belgium. Okay. Uh, but because Spain is allied with France, if I can ally alliance with the NGF or Austria. negative relations with Austria. But I suppose there's no reason to keep negative relations with them now that they're no longer allied with Spain. Spain will make a mistake eventually. Or rather, France will. And we can do that. Honestly, France is not actually that scary as far as uh, what they would be, uh, the potential to do stuff to us. Especially if they're at war with things. Uh, especially once I start building my fleet up, but for now I can't really do that. Probably going to be... I don't know. Uh, once my economy is built up, so a little while from now. That's interventionism. No, none of that. Or rather, as little of that as possible. Go over here. Do I have a naval base down here? It's probably a good idea to get one. Now, I'm trying to leverage my... advantages here by having... people build stuff for me. Fertilizer factories are awful, but whatever. But, I really could be building railroads and things like that. Let's see. Those numbers are too low for it to be, for it to matter.
Are any of these interesting? Okay, Congressman Damon Wilmot has suggested that the bill will ban slavery in any state acquired from the Mexican session. Supporting the provisible will, provisible will greatly calm northern fears over slave power, but also increases southern fears of abolitionism. Well, let's do that. Uh, once we once we research the next tech, I want to restore the academia because I don't like being restricted so much on naval and and stuff. Um, oh, that's stupid. Um. So that we can get some good text to fight the Euros. Now, I'm wondering, it probably will, uh, but since Alabama got that abolitionist thing, if it will still join the Confederacy. Oh. Make Wyoming a state. Cool beans. Create free state. Alright, what do we still have that's not a state? I think most of our stuff is uncolonied now. Oh, I'm not spending any colonial power, so evidently that is the case. Very unrealistic. Uh, but whatever. Check it here. Yeah, all these stuff are still are still colonies. Um, it's certainly possible, especially early in the game, to really take advantage of a moment of a, a moment of English weakness and take out uh, Canada, at least a couple of provinces of Canada, and then you can. Uh, deal with that. So once I get down to, let's see, it's 22, infamy, okay, so we need to get down to like 3, for that to be completely safe. Um. Kaboom! Is there ally with Venezuela? Belize down here can be a problem. Uh, see that this is what I don't like. I don't like that. We don't. We have a, a truce until. 1861? Uh, 58, okay, that's not too bad. I thought, uh... That could be 1861, considering that that would mean I'd have to have started a truce with them in 1856. I'm silly. But, in any case, if they get them in their sphere, we can take measures to remove them from the sphere. Stuff like that. Artificial fertilizers. So, uh, it's certainly not a permanent um, thing in any case. Okay, how... Are we on assimilation in these places? Grievous insults. I'm not gonna lose prestige about that. Sam can go do a thing that's unpleasant. 
some Dixie people over there. That's cool. I don't remember if Yankee is a an accepted culture in Dixieland. Some of you were talking about Washington. It being strange that Washington has uh, the slavery thing. Well, that's a lot right there. The Civil War stuff involved with that. It was because it was capital. Russian Empire and Cockhand. Down here. Not going to end well for them. Cockhand, that is. Oh no, Columbia. I certainly do plan to do... Well, I've already done kind of an ahistorical route. Taking out part of Mexico already. Okay. I need to get this pretty soon. Colonial negotiations is in breach, breach loader rifles, so that's one of the reasons I was doing this, but also to get guards. I could I could go for the gusto here for Haiti, but uh, I'd rather snag another state out of Mexico. But if I have to fight the UK for influence here, it looks like they've stopped at cordial. Then. I would not, you know, I wouldn't have to, it would take me a while to get that, to get out of that. But most likely I would get caught pretty early and get the full blow of infamy and then I'm almost positive the United Kingdom would declare war on me at that point. And that's no good. Um... I'm not really sure what the modifiers are. I think it's just that because they're civilized. There's no real way, like, way to show. Uh, ooh. We can do another thing. Let's do secret ballots. There's no way of telling, I suppose, what, uh... what kind of modifiers are affecting that. I think that's just standard. I think it's 11 for a state when you're not currently at war. Or the Omani Zanzibar concession. So Portugal is at war with Oman and Egypt. Let's start getting our relations up again with Austria. France. There we go. The ravages of alcohol taking a daily toll on our people, tearing away every day with newfound intensity at the moral and spiritual fabric of our national character. It becomes imperative for us to bond together in the defense of public virtue, and to educate and uplift the poor and the downtrodden to the virtues of temperance. For quite some time now, our country has been dealing with increases of the consumption of alcohol, readily, avail readily available, and cheap distilled spirits in combination with hard-working conditions make poor classes especially susceptible to this deadly poison. Deadly poison? It comes as no surprise that the American Temperance League has been formed. So what's wrong with a few drinks? Hiccup. You just said, uh, okay, it gets... The USA gets libertine culture until the end of the game. Mining prestige loss and minus five percent farming and mining efficiency. Or we can get Temperance League until the end of the game. Everyday needs of the poor strata reduced. Prestige goes up. Farming efficiency and stuff like that. Pop melts. That's fine. We'll take that. Anything that gets prestige is good. 
think we're positive relations with Russia. This is kind of a nightmare scenario for Prussia here. France allied with the Russian Empire. It's not impossible to deal with, though. All right. Oh, also, um, people express concern that the USA gets kind of dull after the Civil War, and if I find that it's getting to that point, like just like the uh, the Spain game, where once I had, you know, really started colonizing, uh, the game was a foregone conclusion, so to speak. And then I'd probably end the game at that point rather than uh, continue it. So once Argentina gets its full thing, I'll probably start working on... I guess Chile. Well, who's it, whoever's the next most powerful. I want to have... The biggest and the strongest in my Amerisphere. What we can put, I knew about that. The Ottoman Empire is declaring war on Egypt. United Kingdom expands. I don't know where this is. Probably Canada. Breakthrough in Serbia. Well, they've learned steam engines. I wish the AI's England wasn't so infuriatingly stable. Most of the time you don't get an opportunity to really take advantage of those weaknesses I was talking about. Because they're just too strong to really have problems. Um, but you certainly have to pay attention to see if they're going to have that sort of stuff. Alright. Let's get British loaded rifles. We want to get this. We still need to wait for a attack or a um, something. All right. So let's build a bunch of guards. Boom. Um. I'm actually going to not build these. Let's go ahead and disband some of my infantry here. What pops are you? I think these are some of my original groups. Binghampton. Oh, whatever. There we go. Okay. Yankee, 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 Yankee. Uh, business circulations is probably a good idea. And then because that tech's pretty expensive, we might want to stop at that point. Stays in Illinois, bro. Okay, are these building? Yeah, they're building, okay. Well, like, oddly enough, sometimes I have problems with liquor in some places. The United States doesn't ever have that problem. Um, I find it hilarious that troops always, or most of the troops, cost liquor. Um, but uh, you can do the temperance thing. Alright. Um, ah, slaves go in there. Oh, that saloon thing was because we did the temperance. I 
I fell to number four. Probably because I reduced my military power, I would guess. Now, my industrial score looks pretty low right now, but rest assured, later on that's going to explode. Alright. So the Confederacy... I think it reaches up to Missouri, and Kentucky, and stuff. Yeah, I think it's weird that West Virginia gets Confederate uh, sympathies, when the reason West Virginia is different from Virginia is because of them uh, seceding from them because of the Civil War. Hey, a gold rush. Speaking of which, did we ever start making large amounts of gold yet? No. That's strange. It must be random. Or just there haven't been a lot of people here yet. Okay. I would guess that we're maxed out on points here. Yes. Okay. So. North America's just got... I can put Haiti in our sphere. Why not? Revolution in Hawaii. Well, good time to do that. In France. And Austria. Huh. Well, government type and distance are basically insurmountable. Uh, too many alliances. D -d 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 okay, so they, they basically won't. Unfortunately. But we can get a positive relations with these guys soon. It's seven, in, uh, a little bit less than eight infamy. this infantry and get rid of half of this In my face. No. Now, like the Dixie stuff, it doesn't actually matter if they're from places that aren't in the Confederacy because you can have Dixie pops outside of it. Um, like all of our our free states in the West have Dixie pops in them, uh, but these are from Confederate states. No, we can't annex them until later. Alright. 
so I need colonial no negotiations for this. It reminded me of that. Um, colonial negotiations comes from this. It requires me to have machine guns, economic responsibility, and naval logistics. Machine guns is from machine guns, obviously. Economic responsibility is here. Um, naval logistics is here. So this unlocks in 1870. And that unlocks in 1870. So it looks like uh, I can't really get that before 1870. Okay. No, I might as well just get machine guns. Instead. Alright, so it looks like Austria is, like, in a stable position now. Don't care what Belgium thinks of me. I could probably start building some more ships. Right. I still can't do that. Do I have any non-pops? Nope. 